Yeah, let's go after the metal. Alright, so what's next? Oh, we're still building this water well. Somewhere. Okay, so we still need to build this. Like, all of the resources are here. Just need to get this done. And then we'll be able to store water in here. This is irradiated. Okay. Let's get a medic in there. So I just take this medic off when nobody is sick, just so they can do something else. Keep this going. Boom. And he took some damage. Alright. Okay, you can move forward. What's in here? Okay, so we got more research, more plastic. And this is canned food. Yeah, okay. So that's what you're hiding. We have to kill this guy before we can harvest the canned fruit from this location. And we do need to bring the plastic back so we can work with it. Oh, I almost forgot. We can now research stuff. Okay, survival skills, that increases our production. We do need to get basic farming. And we do need to work on community eating as well, so we can produce more efficient food. But first, I need to figure out what we need first. We need to get to communal living so we can get the shanties and the te tenements. I have to figure out what to work on first. You know what? Let's do production speed first. And then we'll work towards communal living and then communal eating in that order. And there we go. We have a surplus of water. We are now storing it. And we are going to need another emergency shelter. Okay, this is almost out. And it's almost the next turn. And let's go. Yeah. Get in here. And we got your plastic. And you know what? Let's scout this. Okay, so we got tools, beef jerky, and what do you have? You have metal sheets. So I think... We're actually running out of tools, but... We should probably get the research. It's 355. You know what, let's get the tools first. And... You are bringing stuff to... Wait! Didn't you... Didn't you have plastic? Or do you have to like go over here and drop it off or something? So a lot of things have changed, but... I do know you have plastic. Okay, this research is finished. Let's go with nurses. We're not going with the heavy tarps because that's for the emergency shelters and the... the whatever the permanent shelter is called. We're going straight to communal living. Ah, there we go, there's our plastic. Alright, now you can return to the world map. Now let's move you for the next turn. 
And let's go after these tools. Okay, there is an event here. One of the colonists rushes towards you. He says that someone spotted an abandoned wagon not too far from here. It's covered in a tarp so they couldn't tell what's inside. There are footprints around it, but no one could tell where they lead. The colonists want to go search the wagon in case there's something valuable. Okay, let's take the wagon, but we will arm the colonists with two tools. Okay, it's clear some of them have been wounded. People had been sleeping inside the wagon after being awakened by gun-holding strangers instinctively shot at them. The strangers are now dead and you have wounded colonists to take care of. Damn it! So I got nothing out of that except wounded colonists. Okay, so they're out of action for a while. And I lost two tools. So that sucks. Now, we have resources, so we can continue building. Okay, so what I want to do is create a lumber yard just so we have a reliable source of wood. Let's put you over here. Now let's keep moving. Okay, there's nothing over here anymore. All right, let's take the beef jerky and we'll continue forward. And there's still beef jerky or... Oh, you didn't take it yet. Or... I guess you took some. All right, get the tools. So you got... Oh, you don't update the UI after this? Alright, so we got... There's no more research here. Okay, right, let's get these boards. And then we'll get the plastic and then... Return. Or... Wait. Yeah, get the plastic and then return. Just so our colony can get those resources. Okay, so we get some tools here. Yeah, the UI doesn't update until I reselect them. So, it's a bug, but it's one of those bugs that you expect in an early access game. So, it doesn't really bother you. Or at least it shouldn't. Oh shit, we don't have food. I forgot, we need food production. Because like, when the specialist left, we had like 60 food. <laughs> oh, fucking. Or wait. Fishing hut. Since this is close to the water, we will have a fishing hut. And we shall also move the food gathering thing over to food. Wait, there's another rat here? Okay, it should be fine for now. So, I made an oopsie. Forgot to get up food production. Let's move this. Wait, no. That's not it. Or, yeah, let's leave that there for now. I guess we can move it up a little bit. Nurses, communal living. Let's get that up. Alright, let's harvest more resources. So focus on concrete. Now then. Oh, you're all on locations, gathering stuff. So, I don't have a move there. At this point in time, I can remove this worker.
pandemic. First signs of a pandemic are upon us. Okay, so here's what we need to do for this event. Everyone's going to get sick, so we need enough medical tents to make sure everyone is treated. Otherwise, it just gets out of control and it snowballs and everyone dies. Okay, high priority. Everyone build this. So we have enough resources to build everything here. So we can just disable these buildings, get everyone working on this. You, on the other hand, can continue chopping down trees. Go to the world map. And, okay, you're done. You know, let's get some concrete. And everyone is still working on their thing. Let's keep this going. This is halfway done. This, they all have resources. So this will support six people at a time. So that should be enough to deal with everything. Now, okay, so we have our communal living now. We can start building our permanent housing and our tenements, all of our concrete structures. Now let's work on basic farming all the way to communal eating. So we don't need this just yet. Let's get a road here. Okay, we'll just leave people out of here for now. And then we will move workers here. Uh, is this... Okay, you guys are done. Yeah, let's get some food. There's a lot of beef jerky here. You can get some plastic. Let's go in here. Boom. All right, so what do you have? Okay, you got a lot of concrete and then we'll send you back as soon as you're done. Send you back as soon as you're done. Okay, there's no more action points for anyone. Okay, once the pandemic hits, I'll set both of these to like, continue treating people. We can treat six at a time. Here we go. Stable, disable these. Oh shit. We don't have enough people. So let's just handle this. Oh, water well is polluted. Okay, so we do have storage, but we do need to send someone to, like, pair this or decontaminate it. You know, let's send you. So each of these has one person working. Let's work on basic farming. So once this is done, we'll get some farms going. Specialists, only one person. So how much do you have? We have 22 meat, 56 beef jerky. You know what, let's head back. It'll take three days, but we do need the food now. Oh shit, we need lots of food now. Oh fuck. Um, so what I'm going to do is... You know what, disable these. Let's keep this food production up. But we do need people harvesting over here. Like, let's disable this first. Radio Star. New quest available. Okay, so this is new in the game. 
Long distance communications were severely hit in the aftermath and as TVs, radio stations, and telephones fell silent, people became more isolated than ever. Some of the more industrious survivors have been trying to restore basic comms between societies with little luck. So when a faint crackling signal starts repeating a set coordinates to in your transceiver, everyone was rather surprised. Alright, let's check the coordinates. Okay, so that's the quest. Okay, how do I check the coordinates? Okay, here we go. People being infected now. And you want... You're just idling. Let's get you here for now. Like, how do I do this? How do I check coordinates? Oh, it's in here. So we have to explore that. We'll do that later. Like, it doesn't necessarily tell you what you're supposed to do. But... It was easy enough to figure out on your own. Just go to the map and check where it is. We'll do that later. So you guys are infected. Only one of you is infected. Never mind. Two colonists are infected and you know what? Take you off. Okay, keep going. Okay, you're done. You know, bring it back. And you are done. Yeah, let's bring it back. We're going to need the tools. Okay, so we are handling the pandemic somewhat well. Basic farming is almost done. Alright, let's go to larder so we can go to communal eating. Now, let's build the farms. Uh, it's kind of hard to see during the pandemic, so... We'll have to wait until this is over before we start building farms. So, only one infected. We still need to be working on this. Alright, so let's go and... Yeah, bring it back immediately. Can we take a detour? Uh, it's probably not worth it. Let's just go straight back with all of our supplies. And this also means these guys can work on stuff as soon as they bring it to the stockpile. Like, didn't you guys have beef jerky or something? Oh, there's a guy in the gate. A man approaches the gate with a hefty backpack. Bursting out the seams with blueprints, measuring sticks, and other items. He has the usual bandit trappings, but is acting like a very... In a very unbandit-like fashion. Oi oi! Might I ask who, uh, whomever is in charge? Master Builder is here, and you'd better listen. He's building a monument of sorts and needs construction materials. So how about we trade, eh? More exciting to trade? You know what, I'll go with the research for now. Like, I have wood coming. Let's just do that. We colonists are infected. Okay, start dealing with them. So... Oh, another one is infected. Okay. Decontaminate this. And let's move on to communal eating. Okay, two colonists are infected. Okay, bring it back. You're still working on this, I think. 
Oh, I think you're done. And then next turn I'll be able to move. Wait, where's the... I could have sworn we brought beef jerky back. I'm confused. Alright, you know what? Send you the world map. Or, wait. Uh -huh. Hang on. We'll have you gather food. I think... Yeah, let's get this deer. We do need food. You take damage because you attack them, but... We do need to harvest these. They're still being paired over here. Still repairing this. Okay, I think we can take you off. We can start these up again. Now we do need more wood for the time being, so we'll just do this. There are more deer carcasses here, so let's continue harvesting them. Yeah, you have beef jerky. You do have food. What the hell? Oh, there is the beef jerky. Okay, so we have food now, so let's just kick this guy's ass. And you can return. So it takes a while for the resources to show up. Like what actually triggers it? So this guy brought back some stuff. You know I think it triggers as long as they stay here uh, during the day. Like, as long as it, like, you know, once this fills up, it should be available to the colony. That's what I'm thinking. Unless, wait, hang on. We got planks now, so I don't know what the trigger is. Okay, this guy. Let's check this guy out. A lone van rattles towards the gates, suspension creaking under the heavy load. Greetings and salutations, my good people, shouts the driver. Can I interest you fine gents and ladies with a bit of bartering on this loveliest of days? Sure. Wait a minute, we have firewood? Um... I didn't know we had firewood. Yeah, we have 19 firewood. How did we get firewood? I don't even have the building to create firewood. Well, anyway, let's just get the tools. We will need the firewood eventually, but not now. You know, let's go straight to advanced farming. And, okay, you guys are healed up, so we'll send you to the world map. This guy is also healed up, so... There's nothing else for you to do here, I don't believe? Yeah, so I'll just send you to the world map. And then we'll go for the quest. And you're dead. Now I can get this metal. Okay, that's empty. You know, I will send you up here. Let 
Now, you were over here, so I'll just send you where you once were. And then I'll send you south. Okay, let's get these up and running again. Now, we do have resources for housing, so let's start building our permanent housing. Let's build two shanties for now. And I do want to replace these emergency shelters with uh, the tenements. They're basically the same thing as these emergency shelters, but they are made of concrete and we get a minor happiness bonus. And it's more protected from pollution. We only got one guy building. Okay, should I bring her back? Um, you know what? Let's just... Yeah, let's send her back first. But let's scout this first. The med kits and screws. Or parts, I guess. Yeah, parts. It's called parts in this game. Wait, did I... Okay, let's just set this. Let's check this out now. Yeah, there is the quest. And we have these advanced, whatever they're called, components. So, let's head over there. What's this guy hiding? He has concrete. Yeah, we'll take him out later. And then you can... Let's just get the medkits. Since you're already here. And then after that, you can head back to the colony. And no one's sick, so we'll take you off. You know what? I, I think we can take these guys off. Disable this for now. Let's just get you building these things. Hey, you're starving. Huh? Maybe you should eat something. There you go. Survivors arrived at the gate. Okay, we should be able to support more people once these go up. Two, uh, two adults, one elder, four ch That's a lot of children. All right, I'll take you in. I'm going to bank on the idea that these children are going to be useful. Feeling weak right now. Okay, so somebody's sick. Let's check this area out. Oh, we have to fight this guy before he'll reveal resources here. Okay, let's go over these parts. Let's head to the quest. The coordinates from the radio signal lead to a small cabin in the woods with a large tent-like structure next to it. The log cabin itself seems dark and silent, but all sorts of cackles and beeps emit, emanate from the tent. Going in, you see a man in front of a large radio transmitter deep in his thoughts. Oh jeez, who what? Man shouts while nearly falling off his chair. Sorry, you caught me by surprise there. I'm Jerry, or that crazy radio guy, as the locals like to call me. Sure, ask about the signal. Yeah, that was me. I'm basically brute forcing my way through various frequencies trying to find others to link up with. His plan of reforming regional communications is ambitious and noble, but hasn't panned out just yet. 
Look, I got some extra stuff stockpiled in the back. I could spare one box so you could get your own comms up and maybe help the cause, eh? Check the back room. There's a bunch of neatly stacked radios, wiring, and even generators in the back room. Three boxes holding miscellaneous goods have been placed next to each other. Thanks for stopping by, friend. Gives me hope that I can actually reach someone with this piece of antique. There he shouts as you grab a box and venture out. Okay, so we get our choice of rewards. I'm assuming we have to use these to build, like, a radio of some sort. Now, what I want most are these components, so second box looks good, but the tools, these are advanced tools that last longer than regular ones, so that's tempting. Okay, I'll, I'll just pick the second box, because we will need lots of those components once we get our electric grid up and running. Okay, go kick his ass. Tomorrow. Anyway, let's get these up and running. Oh, oh, three are infected. Let's get them healed. Let's also get another shanty up. Like, we need to, like, move people out of this place. I mean, this building even takes up less space than the emergency shelter, so we need to replace that. 25, 14, and 12 are the resources we need to do this. Oh, one more thing before I do that. Let's get a large field 